everybody, it's Amy from Monami Creations, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do embroidered mouse ears. And this is something that I'm really excited about because these mouse ears are really awesome because they're really versatile. Because unlike other headbands, these break down and you can take, stack them all together, flatten them up, and then just take them in your suitcase like this. And you only need to bring along one headband to the park. So it's really super easy to use these. You just slide them right onto the headband and then you can swap them out as you need to each day you're at the parks. And then you have a different headband and a different set of mouse ears every day that you're going, which can be really a lot of fun. Um, and with these embroidered mouse ears, the sky is the limit. You can make and create whatever you want and make them however you want. And we are gonna be doing this tutorial today and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make your own set of embroidered mouse ears. So stay tuned and we'll get everything set up here. Okay, so as you'll see, I have everything set up and what I've done already is I have gone ahead and cut out everything that I need so that everything that I'm gonna be using for this project is already squared out, cut out, and templated out so that I have everything I need. So you'll see here that I have my embroidery hoop, of course, and my machine does use a four by four um, hoop. So that's the one that I'm gonna be using and I will be using four by four PES files as well. Now then I also have two foam cutouts here to put underneath the ears. I have my stabilizer, my appliques that I'm going to be using for the ears. Now I did sublimate this fabric myself and I am going to be doing another tutorial on how to do sublimation, but that's for another day. So if you like this fabric, I can show you where I got it from. Then I also have my pink thread, which I'm going to be using for the applique itself. My machine already has the black thread that I'm going to be using to get started with installed. Um, I have my trusty key here. Trust me, this thing is a lifesaver. And then I also have my um, foam cutout for the bow, as well as my vinyl for my bow. I have two pieces, one for the front, one for the back. And then I have four pieces of black glitter vinyl cut out for the actual ears themselves. So unlike some folks, I do put the vinyl on the backing of the ear as well. I just like how it looks. Your mileage may vary and you may choose to use something a little bit different when you go ahead and put your ears together. So we'll get started here in just a minute. But first I wanna talk a little bit about the machine that I'm gonna be using today. And for this tutorial, I will be using my brother PE535 embroidery machine. It is a personal embroidery system and you can download and use your own files, which is why I chose this machine um, it was also one of the more affordable machines that were out there. So if you're looking for an embroidery machine, I highly recommend this one. Okay, so you can see here that the initial embroidery is done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this out of the hoop and then I'm going to start layering things up. And I'll show you exactly how I do that and how it seems to work for me. So as you can see here, I have the initial stitch done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna prep everything and make sure I have everything ready to go. So for this, I will be using a temporary adhesive spray, the Odif 505 here. And I do recommend using this in a fairly well ventilated area. And what I do is I spray the spray directly onto the fabric item itself, just because it tends to make your hoop quite sticky. And then what I do from here is usually I'm gonna eyeball it and then I'm going to tack it down. And then this will serve as kind of an additional stabilizer for the ear itself. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a piece of the black vinyl. I'm gonna make sure I've cut this the correct length, of course. And I did. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this with the temporary adhesive as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tack this down here. I am gonna press it down and make sure it's on there firmly. 
And the temporary adhesive really just kind of helps to make sure that it stays on there, that it's not going to be sliding around, and that it really is just going to be more firmly cemented onto the ear itself. So from here, I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to reattach this back to my embroidery machine, and it's going to do a couple more stitches. And then we'll talk about how to do the applique after this. Okay, as you can see here, I have the initial tack down done. So it's time to go ahead and do the applique because that's gonna be the next step that the machine is going to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray some temporary adhesive here again. And again, make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area. Um, and again, I do spray the fabric because you really don't wanna get your hoops all gummed up with the spray itself. And a little does go a long way when it comes to using this. And I do eyeball this again. And once you've done this a few times, it's pretty easy to determine where the applique actually needs to go. So then you'll center it. You'll put it on your ear. Like so. And then you'll want to go ahead and smooth it out as much as you can. And looking at this, I can see that it's fairly even around the edges. I might want to scoot it over just a little bit here, though. So, And it's really easy. You just peel it right back up again. And this easy tack does disappear, and it does go away relatively quickly. So then you'll just re-tack it down. And smooth it back out. And at this point, you will also want to go ahead and you'll want to change the thread in your machine if you want to have a different color for the embroidery um, along the edges of the applique. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna switch out the thread in my machine, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the applique itself. Okay, so as you can see here, the applique um, is now done and that's really nice and smooth there. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add the back to the um, mouse ear. So like I said, I like to use vinyl on the back just because I like the look of it. It looks really nice and complete. So then all we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the hoop over. We're gonna take our other piece of vinyl, make sure that fits again. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray that with the temporary adhesive. Then we're gonna place that down. And again, make sure to just smooth it out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back on the embroidery machine and this will be the last two steps before we take it out of the hoop and we cut it out. So you'll see here that I have gone ahead and I've taken the ear out of the hoop and everything is ready to go. So the next steps are going to be is to cut the ear out. And the things that you want to be really careful um, when you're doing this is to make sure that you leave enough vinyl around the edges. Otherwise, when you're putting the ear onto the headband, it will pop open if it's not given enough room to kind of mold and, and work with. So as you're doing this, you're going to just want to make sure that you're following really closely along the edges. So usually what I do is I just go around the edge really quick here and get rid of all of my excess. And you can do it however you like. It really just depends on what you think you need to do. I like to have the excess cut away so that I know exactly what I'm working with. The other thing you want to make sure is that you have a pair of really sharp scissors. So I use these Fisker scissors and then I usually sharpen them um, usually in between about every other cut. So that's how often I do it. Again, your mileage may vary. So the vinyl is a little thick. 
And again, you're just going to kind of want to use the edge of the outlined stitching as a guide point and don't go too close to the edge. Make sure you leave enough around the edge here. And you want to go in nice, smooth cutting motions too. You don't want it to look jagged when you're done. That's really important for making sure that it looks nice and neat. See there, I got a little close to the edge. And there. And you have your ear cut out. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make the other ear, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on how to make the bow and how to do the placement for the bow within your headband. And then I'll show you how to attach everything at the end. Let's move on now and we'll get the bow done. So as I had mentioned earlier, you want to make sure that you've got your foam padding cut out. And then of course, I've got my two sheets of vinyl that I'm going to be using for the bow. And I did pick this pretty sparkly silver vinyl to use for this. And I'm going to actually use for this the pink thread that I went ahead and used in the applique for the ears. So I'll be using that for my bow and we'll go ahead and get started with the bow now. So as I did earlier, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select our bow on our machine. I'm going to go ahead and set that. And then it's going to go ahead and it's going to start. I'm going to hit the start button here. And here we go. As you'll see here, the initial stitching is done. It is quite light, so I'm going to hold that a little closer to the camera there so you can see. And now we're ready to go ahead and start tacking down our items. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring out, again, my temporary adhesive spray. Again, it's the Odif 505. So as I had mentioned earlier, don't forget to use this in a well-ventilated area because you'll want to make sure that you can actually breathe while doing this. And I do, again, spray it right directly onto the item. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to try to align it as best I can. If it's not a perfect alignment, that's actually okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Then I'm going to take my vinyl, place it over that, make sure it's still a good fit. And it is. So then I'm going to go ahead and temporarily spray this. Again, spraying it directly onto the material itself. And you can see it makes it quite cold when you spray this. So that's why it looks kind of goofy now a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead, place that. And again, you want it to be smoothed out as much as possible. actually move this over just a little bit here. Okay, and now this is ready to go back under the embroidery machine. So you'll see the initial stitching is done and now it's ready to go on to the next steps. So I actually won't be changing my embroidery thread at all. You can see here that you're supposed to do some different colors, but I actually prefer to just leave well enough alone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and let the machine cycle through all of the different stitches next until it comes time to put the backing on the bow. And then we'll talk about how to do that. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and get started with this again. Okay. 
Okay, the bow has run through all of its cycles and so it is now ready to have the finishing touches put on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip it over. And yep, I got a few loose threads here, so I'll trim a few of those off. But again, these don't really matter um, just because this is gonna be covered up with the other vinyl here in just a couple of seconds. Quickly snip those off. So then of course, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other piece of vinyl and make sure that it covers everything and it does. So then I'm gonna of course use my beautiful temporary adhesive spray, making sure I'm in a well ventilated area. I'm gonna spray that down. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tack this onto the back. And again, the discoloration that you're seeing is just because the spray itself gets really cold. So it's, it's kind of like the DeLorean when it comes back and it's all freezing cold and they go to touch the handle and it's like ice. So very similar to that. Okay, so the backing is now on here for the vinyl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this back on the embroidery machine and then I'm gonna complete the finishing steps. finished um, mouse bow here. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you what the back looks like. So you'll see some loose threads and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip those really quick here. Get rid of them. And there we go. So the bow itself is done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop it out of the hoop here. So I'm going to use my trusty key. Trust me, this thing is a lifesaver. So I'm going to loosen that up. Pop it out of the hoop. And now it is ready to be cut. So again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim around the outside area here. And my stabilizer is cutting away very nicely. I do use just the um, tear away stabilizer that seems to work the best for these that I've found. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start trimming. And again, you wanna leave maybe about a quarter inch of the area open here. You don't want it to be too close to the edge or the stitches will pop. Trust me, I have done this and you don't wanna do it because then all of your work is kind of for naught at that point. So especially on the bottom here, you just wanna make sure that you're not getting it too close to the stitching edge. And I'm gonna go around the edges here. And again, try to do this as smoothly as you can because you don't want any jagged edges. You want it to look as nice and neat and as smooth as you possibly can. And I do recommend using very sharp scissors for this. So I will go ahead and I will resharpen my scissors after this just because I wanna make sure that they're staying nice and sharp. And I only use these scissors for working with my ears. I don't use them for anything else, um, except maybe like if I needed to snip a little bit of fabric or something like that. I'll go all the way around the edge here. Just making sure to get everything in. And again, going nice and smooth. And smooth motion tends to do it really well. It also helps to just prevent everything from, you know, looking sloppy. You want everything to look nice and neat. And there we go. The bow is now completely cut out, and this, along with my mouse ears, means that I am ready to start assembling my headband, and we will go through the steps on how to do that here in just a couple of minutes. Everything is now complete, so we are ready to start assembling our headband. So I have a headband here. Um, this is just a basic one that I use to do all of my mock-ups with and just to make sure everything fits. 
So then what you're going to want to do is go in here and you're going to want to slide the ear on. And it should be a little tight, not quite this tight, but a little bit tight. And then you're going to want to kind of adjust it a little bit so that the ear sticks up. And then on the other side here, we'll go ahead and slide the bow on. on that other side so we'll flip it around and slide it on here and then same for the bow you'll want to adjust it a little bit here and then our last one slide this one around pull it up adjust it and then you have your embroidered ear headband. So I thank you very much for watching my video. If you like what you've seen here today, hit like and subscribe and more videos will be forthcoming soon. And hopefully I'll be able to share a few more designs with you that I like and that have been really popular. Have a great day, everybody.